What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Essential Scares Podcast, the only show that dares to ask the question, is it essential? I am your host, Corbin, and with me today, as always, is Alan. Good evening. Bobby. Eh. (laughs) And that's everybody. Uh, We have got quite a conversation ahead of us. Uh, We'll be discussing the second attempt at a live-action Resident (laughs) Evil adaptation, the brand new Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. You mean Resident Evil Cinematic Universe, especially with the way this movie ends? Uh, I mean what I said, and I said what I mean. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) But before we get into it, Bobby has a spoiler warning. I do. This will serve as your first one and only spoiler warning for the brand new film, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. If you don't want this movie spoiled for you, you do, uh, but skip to the time code ahead. So, a little bit behind the curtain, uh, I like to, like, write these spoiler warnings out in advance. I like making little jokes and all that type of thing. So, you know, I like like getting a little ha-ha right off the top, right? Um, and I was thinking about it. I realized that uh, no matter what I write, it will not top the joke that is this movie. Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, welcome to uh, Al- uh, Island, uh, Alan, the, uh, Alan Island. You almost got We're there, here. Champ. <laughs> I, it took me a few tries. <laughs> Uh, you know, still a better take than any take in this movie. <laughs> population me myself, uh, you know, we're hanging out here on the island of. I thought this movie was mediocre. So it was I came dog in shit. with incredibly low expectations, apparently higher expectations than Bobby, uh, and I walk out. I walked out honestly pleasantly surprised. Do you with think? What I experienced. Do you think that you came in with higher expectations than Bobby, or do you think that? this movie just met your version of low expectations that's possible um i don't know i just <laughs> w- w- i just i don't know it 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 worked for me in a weird way what like it works? felt tell me what works give me one thing that works i mean just i don't know the overall feel i like the idea of what no, what do you no, mean no overall i don't i, I don't want to cut in yet i don't want to cut in yet what do you mean? <laughs> so, you know, just you, 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 we get to see Raccoon City. I guess the one thing off the bat I Raccoon will say Township? that did. Yeah. That, okay, sure. That's That <laughs> why, was where I was going Why with was that. the police station so big for a town so small? That, I, I kept asking myself, I'm like, why does this town look like it's got like two people? It's in like it? population because, you know, I, 37. They have one restaurant. Like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that did feel a little strange. I kept asking myself that every, especially when they would like show the city as a whole. You're like, is that I it? grew up in a town bigger than that, and my town had like <laughs> six thousand people in it. Yeah. This is a Hallmark grew, town. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in a town about that size, and yeah, the one thing that makes sense is having a mat a mansion there because like there was one <laughs> yeah, mansion true. in my small town, but like, there's nah. always one. There's always one. <laughs> yeah, the one guy who has a weird patent. From yeah. 50 years ago and is suddenly a oh, millionaire. Yeah. Whatever. Um, but just, I don't know. So when I was watching it, I, I it just, it clicked for me in a, in a weird way. You know, I I, I enjoyed um, the campiness because it, it just felt real campy for me. Uh, and I... It did I, not feel intentionally campy. That was, I was I actually thought that several times while watching it. So... <laughs> What's interesting so far about this is that we've been very upfront about our feelings, which we usually <laughs> do not. Uh, we, 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 we sussed it out a little bit, we but, but it today out. it was, uh, we just went right in. I can't help it. I'm sorry. This movie is fucking That's dog fair. shit. It's dog shit. It's a bad movie. I thought about it, at a, I forget exactly when, but there was a point during the movie where I was thinking about it compared to the games. It's like, oh, you know, like, part of what makes the games fun is that they're kind of silly and can't be intentionally. And this movie, uh, several times, just feels, like, silly on accident. Silly, like, despite itself. Like, I think that this movie absolutely wanted to be and tried to be a serious horror movie with some characters that were just jokes, like Leon, 
um, and some situations that were just there for the funny, but primarily I think it did want to be very serious and it, I think it was hampered by a lot of things, but I think the tone was one of those. I don't really consider Resident Evil to be a serious franchise. No, no. Uh, I, I think, you know, you can watch this movie for 15 minutes and you already know that it's way more serious than the game's ever tried to be. Uh, this movie I, feels like if it was still legal to do so, the director would have gone by Alan Smythe. Um, <laughs> I think that, 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 that I that's think an inside base proud of this. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Alan Smythe is the is the pseudonym people say when they don't when they don't want to be associated with a movie that they've directed or produced. So yep. they go under Alan Smythe. Yeah, Got it's it. just bad. It's like like okay. So this is the question I kept asking myself the entire time. The guy who plays Wesker, mm-hmm. why was he Wesker and not Barry? Like Barry is not in this movie at all. Yeah. Uh, also, real quick, Alan, if you like this movie so much. What was the fourth guy in Alpha Team's name? Oh, I was asking myself that through the whole movie. What was movie. his name? What um, was his name, oh, Alan? Fuck. I remember. I, Josh? I know. No. Was it Josh? No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I know. Do you, what was his do name? You remember, do you remember when there was like they said 20 it. different mm-hmm. scenes where every single character says their own name and someone else says their name <laughs> yeah. because they don't look or act anything like the characters you know, so the movie has to really make sure you know who they are. And then that guy is always just like, there and Hanging no one says his name until his way name is... late in the movie well but you kind of knew he it. was just going to be the token guy who gets eight which is exactly what happened to him he had because to be I... his exactly. name wasn't was... jill valentine i mean like yeah. who, who's left <laughs> his name his name was richard oh that's and it. Yep. he is a character in resident evil one i think he's the guy who gets eaten by the snake <laughs> um also I... the guy from uh the guy from what is that that Canadian show, uh, uh, that are all of our friends really like. Uh, uh, Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Yeah. The, is the, that, the pilot. Was that the guy? Vickers. Vickers is one of the guys from Letter Kenny. Oh, uh, yeah. was he? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um. Did you guys? Okay. I know there's some. There's got to be at least one thing you guys did appreciate. Maybe two things you guys would appreciate. I can definitely think of at least of one thing that I definitely appreciated. But is it the zombie reveal? To literally one? being the 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 reveal like no. you get from the original game where it turns no. around and says, "And let me tell you, you like why." That? Because it didn't why? do it. Because it did. It didn't. Because that that moment in in the video game to this day is still scary. This was not scary. I actually thought like, that exact thing. I forget at what point it was. Maybe it was when they were going into the mansion in the movie, yeah. which happens. That like was the other one I was going to bring 50 up. Fifty yeah. minutes and like way too late into the film. Uh, but I did think to myself, like you know, that opening cutscene, not even the remake version, the version from nineteen ninety six, still scarier than this movie. Yes, <laughs> this movie wasn't scary by any means, but, but I don't it know. really, I, really I tried want... to be. Yeah, it really yeah, it tried, tried to, and it, it ultimately failed at that badly. Like, what Did about you think the, you'd the be a part of the... my family? <laughs> what about the scene with uh, Chris and the lighter just like over and over and over again? It was bad, man. Great trailer shot, I guess, but like that movie, that shot makes no sense in, in the movie. You know what? You know what I told Corbin when this movie was over? Is this movie is living proof that if we ever said that those like t- those like those like short YouTube videos that would come out for like between 2008 and 2010, they were like live action like trailer bits they'd be like man why don't they just make a movie of that this proves how stupid we were because that's just this long form like it was made on the budget of like seven dollars like Yo, it, the budget is shockingly thin huh? this movie had like a 25 million dollar budget it's like nothing I, and and you can and it shows that actually that. explains yeah. that explains can, a few things what that, that there's almost no the shots worse, of, <laughs> or the worse than cw tier cgi yeah or the zombies that are like only come out two at, at a time at any given moment, <laughs> or like how they clearly wanted to do practical <laughs> effects but still couldn't show a single bullet impact flesh. That was that was <laughs> where I was like, you know, this it is kind a Resident like, Evil movie. We should be she- seeing a lot more gore. Like yeah. that was a you know almost immediate flag where I'm like, what's happening here? Like. Yep. Especially, so if we go back, not the most recent, um, I mean, well, even the Tyrant at Resident Evil was kind of gory. Like, what, what's gory? 
the tyrant and he turns into the tyrant. That's kind that's, of gory. I mean, that's true. I mean, yeah, I but don't, like, it, throughout was the whole it bad? Movie. Yeah, but yeah, we should have had much movie. more. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, well, everything about this movie is dog shit. You're gonna say something about Resident Evil Eight, Alan? It, I was just gonna make a comparison, like just gore wise. Like you know, this is a game. It, 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 you can't not compare this to the games. You can't not compare it to its source material. This um, movie really, I think, tries to pander to the source material. Yeah, it does. Uh, but you it know, fails. those are Miserably. fairly gory games, and especially yeah. like if you play, if you ever played Resident Evil 2's remake, like one of the coolest things about that is just the layers of gore animations mm-hmm. that are there for that game on every shot you put into zombies like and, and i mean i remember that in when resident evil 4 came out yeah and you'd like shoot a dude with and there would just be a bullet hole and it's like oh that's so cool because it's you know not it wasn't yeah. as common in 2004 <laughs> when that game came out but yeah it's all a bit of an aside it it I forget. There was a point about an hour in where I was thinking about the gore. I think it was when Chris was, like, killing all those zombies in the mansion. Uh, which, like, okay, talking about things that we actually liked. I liked Chris. He's He was a he, he looked the part. He acted the part of the early game Chris Redfield. Kind of a boring guy, but, like, that's what he, he fit to me. Uh, the scene in the dark right before he's flicking his lighter when he is like killing all the zombies but it's dark and you only see the muzzle flashes like even though that scene was clearly shot that way because they don't have the budget to show you him killing those zombies i think that that was a cool sequence um, i agree i think it was around that point where i thought to myself you know this movie could have just been pg-13 it simply didn't need to be rated r it was rated r because they just couldn't stop swearing like all the time and like I'm not, I'm not. But against it's really language. funny when they say the fuck word, dude. Yeah, like I'm not against it, but it was like every other sentence they had to drop it. If I was like, guys, it's like, like 25 minutes in, you're like, there's a lot of fucks in this movie. Yeah, it's, like it's, a I lot. don't have any fucking choice, Jill. Okay, I don't have any it, fucking <laughs> choice. It makes the writing feel so like adolescent. Like he just, there's no other adjectives <laughs> or anything. It sucks. I wouldn't have pulled the fucking trigger, kid. I wouldn't have pulled the trigger. Like, <laughs> yeah. Or like, like when the why is... when the when the dog bites him, he says something uh, ah, like "fuck my fucking hand, you fucking bit me, you fucking." <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, was is that was that the only way? Nobody reviewed that line. You're the writer director, so dude, that's just how it came out. Yeah. <laughs> it was, oh. just... was that is that is that who it was? Who was the writer director? Is yeah, that guy? He, yes. <laughs> Oh, that explains oh, no, not so the, much not about the truck the... driver. Sorry, oh, okay. But the guy that wrote, <laughs> the guy that directed the movie, wrote and directed the movie. That, that would have been very funny. Nothing against that actor, but it's no, just no. really funny. The idea of like, yeah, I put myself in the movie. I'm the truck driver who killed a guy and then crashes his truck and gets bit, and that's my pot. Like, that's just really funny to me. Uh, a scene that could have been cool, um, but absolutely wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, was like the scene where like Leon, like the truck explodes and the the, the zombie walks in and Leon's passed out listening oh, to a yeah. CD player, but still manages to get woken up by the gunshot. Um, I know. <laughs> that, if he would have stayed asleep the whole time, maybe a cool scene. But the fact that he gets woken up with a gunshot is like this is stupid. A, a bomb blew up. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's so There's much a louder. Fireball outside. Yeah. <laughs> He'd feel the heat at the very yeah. least. Like <laughs> there's a man on fire in five feet. He would just feel yeah. nice and toasty and warm and just no, he wouldn't to sleep it off, man. What are you talking about? Oh, I, man. if there's one Easter egg, I wish they would have done something with is like the ribbons to save. Like I don't know how they would have been able to incorporate that, but it's just I don't know. I feel like that's that was such a big part oh like the typewriters of, yeah like I mean, all, all you would have had to do was like when they're looking in the mansion just have them one of them see a typewriter and go like uh or whatever oh, a typewriter. Like, who, i don't know it just i don't, I don't know. know i would have liked that just i a little sauce i think that you know on the topic of like easter eggs is weird because this movie feels like it is going back and forth between trying to pander and be like slaves to the source material and then at the exact same time have nothing at all to do with the games and in fact be like the complete opposite it was like w- like why did we why did is this the route that we chose and i feel like that yeah. even goes back to like 
why was this Resident Evil 1 and 2 at the same time? Yeah. It wasn't worth because it. Because it was really it neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's the biggest problem with this movie. And, and uh, before the cast, Bobby uh, d- crucified me for using the word ambitious. Um, because it's and, not. And that is probably a wrong <laughs> phrasing. I agree. But the I, that's probably, I think, the root problem at the very start of everything. Because you take two distinctly different games very very different and you're trying to force them into you know a a square peg into a round hole it doesn't work if you you could make this movie the same length and do resident evil 1 and resident evil 2 and you're gonna have a better product out of it because you can focus more on what makes those games individual like for example uh resident evil 2 there's no mr x anywhere in this movie that would have been a really cool thing in a movie to see like you yeah. there are a lot of elements that you lose that make the games individual the guy who's, who's just not here the guy who's tyrant they won they fuck they make the tyrant look so like his weird like gooey hand instead of having the cool claw like it fucks it up completely and yeah. like i the reason why they did it is like they wanted to do a resident evil one they wanted to make it resident evil one but also, people don't remember who Chris Redfield is, and their Jill Valentine who they casted does not look like Jill Valentine at all. Now, I'm not saying she's a bad actress. I don't know. But, like, cut her hair. <laughs> like, legit. Like, you can you can still be, like, you can still be, like, you can still be a POC, like, uh, uh, Jill Valentine. I'm cool with that. Uh, fuck mm-hmm. yeah. But, like, make her hair cut. Or give her the just, fucking like, beret, the, the beret, yeah. the beret. Yeah, like, like, give, give me something that goes. Oh yeah, that's Jill. That even like, like, like that exact complaint. You know, I know it's minor, and I feel like a, one of, the, I feel like a dumb internet fan. But like, why didn't Claire wear her hair back one single time? It's just, it's just a silly like little thing. It's like, oh, if you're gonna pander, it, if you were gonna, and pander, it's so weird because why, they, like, yeah. why was that where you drew the line? <laughs> And it's so weird because they the they got Leon Kennedy correct, where you can you can still look at that guy and go, that guy's Leon Kennedy. Oh, and yeah. then and yeah. then he opens his I, mouth. I didn't and then, think I was going to be okay with it, but then I totally was. Like when I saw the yeah. screenshots, it's like he doesn't look anything like Leon. But in the movie, it totally works. Yeah, except for every time he does anything, because that is, like they make Leon Kennedy, who is absolutely not that type of character, to be this like. <laughs> I loved Leon getting shit on by everybody. It was, I had a great it just time. Got so it made me laugh. That, like I, I don't yeah. know. I I feel like I don't know. I feel like going back to it. I mean, I think that this could have been two games in one, but they probably should have just been zero in one. And started with the train and done like half an hour on the uh, like that sequence. And but the problem the, is led into the mansion. Like yeah, it, the problem is obvious marketing it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. and then like yeah, the only reason why they, they made it too is because Leon is in it. They you get wanted the whole Leon cast. and Leon yeah. is an important. You've character. got Claire, you've got Leon, all the characters that people love. There's yeah. crossover there with like recent games and Infinite Darkness and. Now, if they get to make a sequel, they can just use any character that they want and totally avoid the games, because what is going to be Resident Evil 4 next? Forget it. Um, Which, that's, the one thing I will say, like, I, when I finished this movie, my first thought was, hmm, that was not a good way to show off these two games, but I think if you focused on one of them, this could, there's potential here. And Resident Evil 4 was the very first thing I thought of as the next kind of logical point that you would you would go to. I don't know if you would, I mean, ideally you probably want to use the same character if you're trying to create a continuity here. And they very clearly are trying to do that with our little end credit sequence where That's Wesker right. gets his glasses uh, and we see, of course, Miss Ada a- Wong. Ada, like, totally wasted, by yeah. the way. She's a huge deal in, in 2. Mm-hmm. But yeah, whatever. weird. Whatever. Well, I, 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 two is I, not part of this. Like you keep saying, like, oh, this is one and two. It's not. It's just one. But they they threw in, they threw on Leon and and Claire. Like the that's issue all is it that is. it's the and issue like is that it's not. Police, uh, it's station. yeah. It's not just one. It's one with forty five minutes of filler, and the filler is all Resident Evil two backdrop. And that makes it so much worse because with a small, small budget like this, yes. twenty-five million, which is a small budget for an action movie, a huge budget for a horror movie. 
I'm sorry. It should have just been the main cast in a the huge mansion the whole time. For... It it could have just been a haunted house zombie movie, all in the mansion, and it totally yeah. would have worked with 25 million. You could still cut out the CGI like snakes and the crazy monsters, and like you probably could have had a really tight spooky zombie movie. And they, yeah, you like, could have had. It feels yeah. like they just threw it away. They just threw it away. Well, and keep in mind too, with this being a video game movie, 25 million dollars for a video game movie. Minus Warcraft, let's take that out as the outlier. That's a lot of money. That's a huge budget for those that kind of type of schlock, you know. So it's got like a lot going for it, it had and it's and it, yeah. and it, it squanders had. all of it. Yeah, I don't think it's, it squanders all of it. What uh, do you think uh, it did not to, squander? Yeah, yeah. What what did it do well? You still you've been just been agreeing with us that it's been bad this entire time. <laughs> I said I think this movie's very mediocre. That that was my my outset. I th- I thought it was quite mediocre. I just yeah. don't think it was like egregiously bad. Oh, you know? what, was, what was what was good about it to make it not egregiously? Like bad? in general, the action sequences were fairly well done. I enjoyed a lot of the action sequences that we saw. Mm-hmm. Pretty much any time action was occurring, I was like, "This is a fun time. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing here." Uh, okay. I thought the dialogue, as dumb as it was, was enjoyably dumb. Um, like, the when we go to the diner scene, for example, and we basically meet all of our characters introducing themselves and their friends, I had fun there, making fun of Leon to get things going. I, I, I don't know, it just... It was a bad movie, but it wasn't... It wasn't so bad for me. I just kind of just... I came in there and went, this is going to be a bad movie. It's mm-hmm. going to be bad. So I, I, I came in and was like, you know, whatever I see is whatever I see. I'm, I'm just here for the ride. And I don't think it really did anything that was so horrible that I, I was like, this is just pure garbage. I just um, felt like there's so many like little plot holes and inconsistencies and storylines that didn't go anywhere that wasted time and it's like like the kid and the mom kind of thing like what was the, the whole point of like the really kid and the mom on them a big deal in the games had nothing to do with oh you know what when they show that first shot of uh birkin's daughter waking up from a dream i thought it was another flashback with claire because she looks just like flashback yeah. claire i was confused for several minutes like that is that is just poor yeah movie making i didn't know what was going on that simply shouldn't happen uh i think that the entire side story with lisa trevor what a waste what was the point of that all of the flashbacks like why did they even have her in the movie why even have her in the movie she actually has kind of an interesting story in the resident evil canon and they don't do anything with it she's just like there for fluff and then she kills the (laughs) liquor like what was the point of that uh and then uh the chief who in the games is in being paid off by umbrella uh the movie makes no mention of this he's just like happens to know everything talks about it very vaguely and then gets killed all basically off screen what's going on with this guy uh like birkin disappears for like an hour yeah like like this movie just drops plots so like the, yeah. the oh 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 they they show the one dude the conspiracy theory guy who looks a lot like me um, oh, and how did how did she have like video of that guy she's in a video <laughs> chat room that she recorded she sent on it, VCR she, no, in 1998 no 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 she was in a chat room and she sent him a videotape or he he sent her a videotape okay is that what happened i think I that's they, i think that's the implication. i thought they were implying that she was in some pre high speed oh, oh. video chat oh, this room. person <laughs> forgot that in 1996 or 1998 or whatever that that it was not something that was physically possible yeah. as soon as she put that tape in my first thought was like how how yeah how no, I, I, I felt i felt the exact same way and i made it make sense in my own mind because okay. uh, i was not but like but like he shows up just randomly like gets killed immediately. and then you're and then yeah and, and then he's an asshole yeah, and then and then he gets killed, and you're supposed to feel bad. And also, and he then... gets killed before Claire can like meet with him again. So his yeah. character, like, what was the point of his character interacting with Leon at all? 
And if he knew that the guy next to him was going to become a zombie, like, why didn't he just kill that guy? If he was ready to kill Leon, why didn't he just kill that yeah. guy? Yeah, just pop him, yeah. He's had the gun. Yeah. I, that definitely set off one of those uh, those flags for me. I'm yeah. like, you have a gun. This was entirely preventable. Yeah. You, 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 done. It's over. Oh, because why everything he about this. Yeah. I mean, he probably did at some point. <laughs> I, I guess maybe, yeah. <laughs> Uh, why does it take almost an hour to get to the mansion? The whole point of the movie. We're just like dilly dallying, yeah. doing nothing. The whole the whole movie is just we're just doing nothing. You don't learn about anything. How did the virus what did I, happen? What, what did, did I? Virus what did I? From? Doesn't matter. What did I say was going to happen? When we watched this movie, this movie's gonna be a. It's gonna be about like a half. The first half an hour is going to be like all establishing, and it's gonna mm-hmm. establish characters that you're not gonna pay attention to, and then it's gonna go to the mansion. And by the time we get back from the mansion, you're not gonna give a shit about Claire and Leon. And yeah. what happened? That exact thing. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. Like I, it was I, predictably bad. I hate like just complaining. I mean, if you you know, this is our twenty fifth episode. If you've listened to more than <laughs> one of those 25 you probably know that i i am not usually that guy and i'm a huge resident evil fan and this movie just like it ticked all the wrong boxes <laughs> and i think that that was that was what did for me <laughs> it's the sitting on the toilet and realizing you're constipated of a movie <laughs> like you just need to shit so bad it needs to come out so bad and you're just like please Please, and then nothing happens. <laughs> you just still sit there. You just, and you just, you just. How long are you waiting at this point? Oh, you hour wait for a minute. Seven minutes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, about an hour. <laughs> and then, and then, hour forty-seven feels like three goddamn hours. Oh my god! And the AMC that I went to didn't even have the goddamn good grace to give me a beer while I watched. Oh god! It's. It's just bad, um, and I and I still have. And you said you said the dialogue was playfully cheesy. I don't think that was intentional. Like whether or not it was, it, it, I don't know. It it seemed that way for me. Like we we talked about Thanksgiving yesterday or last week rather for for, for yeah for for Thanksgiving yeah sorry I last week and we talked a bit about how <laughs> yesterday like, was movie, Thanksgiving in real life yeah. so that's why. Thank you. Maybe he uh, did talk about to, things killing yesterday. I I Honestly, almost sure. I hope did. he did. That, <laughs> I did. But we talked about how that how that movie is like so bad it's good, and like they try to make a movie like that. Like there's very clear a lot of that is like it's meant to be so bad it's good, right? And both intentionally and unintentionally it achieves that. This movie tried to be good and is just bad. It's mm. the it's it, it's like it it didn't get to the point of like man like like. The other Resident Evil, where, like, it is so over the top, where, like, it captures the spirit of what Resident Evil is without being too tied down to being Resident Evil, which is, uh, you know, that movie has grown on me in a big way uh, in, in, in my life, where it's like, I don't like it, but I kind of love it. Uh, I, this will I, never I grow quite, on me. I quite like the yeah. old Resident Evil movies, yeah. and I, I thought that several times while watching this one, I was like, you know... I ended up appreciating those movies more by watching yeah. this movie. <laughs> yes, big time. <laughs> they big they time. mostly went their own way, but they, it seemed kind of like they took the right things from the games to kind of make their own movie, which, you know, when it came out, felt like the wrong decision because it yep. doesn't feel like the game. But looking back, it's like, maybe maybe that was the right decision. Yep. Maybe they knew what they were doing and we were the wrong ones that were wrong. I don't think that, but uh, I do think I do think I that they're know. better in a big way. Yeah. Like I've it, seen a lot of video game movies, and I'll, what I'll say is that this isn't the worst, but it is one of the worst. <laughs> what what is worse than this? Uh, did you ever see the House of the Dead movie? I would say the House of the Dead movie is better than this. Do you think so? I enjoyed the maybe House I of need, the Dead. Maybe I need to rewatch House of the Dead. It's, Isn't it's, the Blood Rain movie really bad too? It's, it's oh, a, that movie's so, a blast. It's terrible. It's so much it, fun though. There yeah, House go. of the Dead. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's so bad. It's good. Bad. I want to say the okay. Max Payne movies like pretty egregiously bad, if I remember correctly. That one I never saw. I've also never played Max Payne, so I would have no. You know, side. you know, what movies dope as hell. Doom, the Super Mario movie. 
Okay, the Super Mario movie is dope as hell. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Another, this is a complete, a classic, this is a complete sidebar. A, a classic example of a movie that has nothing to do with the game besides yeah. the names of its characters. Yeah. Despite itself, it's great. <laughs> Johnny Legs, man. You can't you can't go wrong with the Legozama. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Luigi Mario? Yeah. How can you beat that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. They had the audacity to to call him King Koopa and not Bowser. <laughs> like <laughs> Well, no, Bowser wasn't like I think he was. He he became Bowser in, in like sixty four. Or is that like, when they started calling him Bowser? Yeah, he he was King Koopa for a really long wow. time. I didn't know yeah. that because I mean I mean obviously because by the time I was playing Mario, he was he was just Bowser. But... He was Bowser, yeah, yeah. That um, movie was a blast. Also, I love that movie. Oh yeah, I did not love no this shame. movie. Yeah, I did not love this movie. Alan, I don't want to cut you short i don't want to cut anybody short would you like to wax on this movie anymore i think that in the pantheon of video game movie attempts Mm -hmm. that this tried and ultimately failed in conveying a lot of the aspects of what these games are but in that failure, I had fun. Like, just at the end of the day, like, I I knew pretty early on that this was not going to be a very faithful representation of Resident Evil writ large, frankly. Because it does, it's only vaguely familiar to that entire franchise. Yeah. Um, in, in name alone, pretty much, is how it relates to it. As long as but, you've seen a few commercials for Resident Evil games, you're probably okay. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen, like, one trailer for Resident Evil 5, you'll probably be fine, frankly, and go, oh, I can see how this is this, this is the same. Yeah. Um, but I just... It's an old game. I turned my brain off. It was too long. That's, I think, the... Maybe not the biggest sin of this movie, but it's up there for me. It is up there. When I, when I saw the... I think the runtime's, like, 217 or something... It's I was hour like, 47. I thought it was longer. I thought it was two hours. It's it with, no, it just feels long. Oh, okay. Well, regardless, that's a mistake. Like, this movie, there's plenty of areas you could shave off minutes I w- I, of if time. This mo- if this movie was 20 minutes shorter, if they had cut, like, all the Lisa Trevor stuff, all the flashback stuff, maybe some other, like, little sidebars, I I probably would have liked it a lot more, actually. Yeah, it could have been a quite a bit tighter of a movie, and it would ultimately be better for that. Yeah. Um, but I just turned my brain off for a couple hours and had a, had a fun enough time. That's that's really what it comes down to for me. It's like I I came in thinking it was going to be bad. I was talking to Maggie and I was like, this movie's gonna be so fucking terrible. I, I honestly was dreading this movie. When when <laughs> when we look at our schedule of things that's coming up, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to go watch a terrible Resident Evil movie in the in the theaters too. Like. If this is like Paramount to Plus, go see this movie, yeah, yeah. HBO, na- anything. If this is in my house, it's a different story. But like the fact that I had to go to the theater, I used my fucking five dollar discount on this movie too. Thanks AMC, uh, and I was really dreading that, so I came in like pissed off about this movie. And as I sat there and just watched it, I was like, "All right, well, there are worse ways I could have spent this chunk of time and money." <laughs> So I came, I Could came have developed a heroin addiction, I guess. <laughs> Cheaper, for sure. <laughs> you know, I could have looked into the John Bonet Ramsey case a bit, and might have been a better way to use hey. my time. <laughs> And that's three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Christ. Let's write this. Uh, yep, I got thing. it. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, All you right. go first, though. Take us away, Corbin. All right. Uh, I didn't really like this movie. I did, I basically watched this whole movie with my eyebrow raised. I laughed a couple times. It wasn't when the movie was trying to make me laugh. The very first time I laughed was when the title card came up and it just said Resident Evil. And then the camera pans to the sign that says Welcome to Raccoon City. I don't know why, but that was hilarious to me. <laughs> um, and do you remember that? Yes, I do. Now you yeah. say that, I'm like, oh. Because that's the name of the huh. movie. <laughs> yeah, so that was just... I did not I don't know. one and two together. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> I thought that was funny. It was, um, 
I love the part at the very, very end when Raccoon City is crumbling and the very last shot of the movie <laughs> is just one cow, the whole, the only cow of the whole Raccoon City metropolitan area just They've standing really on like at this point. a grassy hill by himself <laughs> and the city is falling into like this hole and he gets like twistered up by the smoke blast <laughs> and the cow just flies away. <laughs> It My words so... were, what did this cow ever do to the, this movie? <laughs> it was so funny to me. <laughs> Just thinking about it, it has me cracking up. <laughs> um, sorry, but this movie was not good. I like Chris. It's a one out of five for me. <laughs> Did not like it. That cow was so funny, though. <laughs> I'll go next. Let's let Bobby take up the rear on this one. I turned off my brain. I watched a movie that had okay action. I came in thinking that this movie... I I came in fully prepared to go, this is a half point. Like, that was kind of the internal thought I had leading into this movie. And, like, I just had fun, man. Like, I I really can't stress. I just watched it and was like, this is okay. This is fine. It's, It's just kind of... Eh. There's a lot of problems with it. We've talked about them quite a bit. It's too long. Um, but overall, I'm I'm at a two. It's kind of, okay. you know, a, just okay. It's an okay experience. Bobby is disgusted. For, for the audio listeners, Bobby is looking at me as if a I two? just said something so disgusting that it's, it's <laughs> causing him physical duress. Listen, bud, I got some bad news. You canceled. Oh, damn. Can't. Of all this my is hot the opinion. Takes, this is the one. Yeah. This is the one. This is the lot. This is this is what is hotter than lava. This is a sun tier take for you. Ice cold. Ice Alan, cold. Alan's finally off the show. Why you gave Resident Evil a two out of five? Uh, yeah. Just simply too high. You're giving me freezer burn with that take, my dude. <laughs> That's how hot it is. Ice hot. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll just I'll just I'll just say it. Um, this movie was dog shit from title to end credits. There was not a redeeming moment of this. I was bored. I was confused. I did not like it. Um, the only reason it gets half a point is because I gave Infinite Darkness half a point, and I can't decide which one I like less. So I can't I can't give it less or more than a score of that. So uh, it's a it's a half a point out of five. Man, what did I give Infinite Darkness? Did I rate this higher? I definitely rated this higher than Infinite Darkness. I think I gave Infinite Darkness a one and a half, if I remember correctly. This I movie think we was so pulled, bad, dog. Did one and a half for Infinite Darkness? Okay, score? Alan, Alan, you gave Infinite Darkness half. Bobby gave oh. it half. I gave it a one. That makes this and Infinite Darkness both a one out of five for me. Honestly, I think that lines up. Uh, despite that, I'm much more likely to rewatch Infinite Darkness. That's just the truth. Because at least that was like silly fun. And for this, it's like, am I just waiting an hour and 45 minutes for that cow? Saying the word <laughs> Tanam Sam is, is way funnier than the cow, for sure. I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And they do it like six times. So like, yeah. that's totally worth it. <laughs> All right. Let's have the oh, quickest God. essential discussion of our lives, boys. We did Honestly. say last week we needed to pad our stats. Yep. <laughs> All right. This is not going to do it. <laughs> oh, um, no, this will do it. Spoiler free. Uh, for anybody that skipped ahead, uh, this was uh, a pretty low rated movie. I gave it a 1 out of 5, Alan gave it a 2 out of 5, and Bobby brought us all the way down into the basement with a 0. 0.5. Out of five. Easiest 0. 0.5 I've ever given my life. Easiest. Technically, we can give a movie a 0 out of 5. I don't know what it would take for me to rate something a 0 out of 5. Um, I hope one day we find out, though. Yeah, I hope I, I get too. something a, a 0 out of 5. One day. I really want a triple 0. I think that would be something special. That's got to be the most difficult rating for us to ever give away. Oh, zero, zero out of 15. Just no points. <laughs> I'd give Cannibal Holocaust a 0 out of 5, I think. I would not. I just I can't give that movie a good rating. Yeah, I'd like fair. just morally speaking. Uh anyway, moving on. Is it or is it not essential despite those low scores? Spoiler free. Alan, you like the movie the best. You can go first. No. Hard no. <laughs> no. It, it's not a good representation of Resident Evil. Um 
it's a pretty mediocre movie given our scores or dog shit. It, it's it's somewhere between dog shit and mediocre. That's that's the range of this movie. Um, it does nothing for horror. It does nothing for Resident Evil. I mean, there's I don't know that there's an argument to be made that anyone could have that could say this is essential. So, hard no. There you go. Bobby. Uh, so, honestly, I've been thinking about a lot about it. And honestly, I think yes. Yeah, do you see the look on your face, Alan? Do you see the look on your face that, 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 you're, that you have on your face right now? That's the same pain I felt when you gave this movie a two. Of course it's not essential. This movie's oh, awful. Christ. Bobby, you see... Bobby, your commitment to your craft... Of, of explicitly trolling me sometimes <laughs> is so powerful that I don't... It's hard so, It's hard to know, like, is he being serious right now? I really can't tell. Oh, no, this movie This movie is is just... It's it's at a unique point in, in, in horror where it's, it's just... I don't... I want to forget this movie exists, but I'll remember this. It, it, it's, it's left an imprint on my memory of, like, this movie was bad yeah. like and so and i did not have fun while watching it that level of bad like at least at least what was it uh 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 the purge patriot day or whatever uh <laughs> but there anarchy. was some yeah yeah that no anarchy? was that this one the per oh. the forever purge the forever purge forever. The forever that's purge. right yep. yeah at least that movie had Look some that. moments we couldn't that, even remember the name of the movie yeah but that movie at least had some like haha bits like this was just like pff, the entire time so no yeah no it's a no all right uh it's a no for me obviously i considered the troll but like what's the point of hiding it's a no <laughs> uh it's not it's not essential for horror it's not essential for action movies it's not, it's not even an essential, essential resident evil co- piece of content it's not even a good jumping off point or representation for where video game adaptations could or should go it's just simply a no it's not essential and i don't even think it's worth seeing just because it's so bad i think you should just pretend it didn't even happen but aren't you going to be so excited and like a year to two years when we have to cover the sequel to this movie. Oh, pump it's up. only if it's 4. Resident Evil Four. Yeah, only if it is. Because here's what's gonna. I'm gonna. Pre- I'm predicting this. All right, Alan <laughs> won't and be. Cast from the future. When you come back to listen to this, we're gonna watch this movie, and Corbin and I are both gonna be like, we really love that it tried. We really do love that it tried, <laughs> but god damn it, it was bad. That's the prediction. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe they'll learn. From no, it won't. it won't. Come on. Um. You guys are you guys are really disa- good be disappointed when it actually is Resident Evil Five. They go straight to five. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's more, it's, it, set, it's, it's set it's, up it's set up much harder to be for five. It is right because they could, they could get rid of Shiva and use one of the other side characters. Jill obviously can come back as the villain. Wesker is there ready to be the villain. Like all the recurring characters come back. You can be Chris and punch a boulder, or is that six? No, that's no, it's Chris that's, and that's five. five. Yeah, oh, punching, instead of but... Shiva, we could just have Leon. It could just be Chris and Leon. That's the movie people want. Bobby's Six... probably right. It probably, that probably is the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, speaking of bad ideas, what's your handles? Where can we find you guys? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you can find me anywhere at Corbangerang. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. I'm pretty active. I have restarted a hobby streak. I'm trying to beat my old high score. My old high score was eight days. I'm currently five days in. Today will be day six. So I'm pretty close to Is that to, in part what it. those Snapchats at midnight my time are about? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so working on some Warhammer guys. I uh, have my Thousand Sons army playable and painted enough. And I'm going to move on to uh, Night Haunt so I could get a Warcry team all settled. And I'm working on some Lego stuff in the background for Christmas. So cool. that's really what I've been up to. Uh, besides that, I've been playing Halo. Halo Infinite, baby. Every day. Um, 
it's just a blast. I don't know what to say about it. It's it's the best Halo content we've gotten in three years. <laughs> um, yeah. You can find me at a seal punter just about anywhere. Um, you can find me posting random stuff on Instagram, <coughs> it's either lifting and and moving heavy heavy things or disc golf. Those Got are it. your two options. That's what you're gonna get out of my Instagram. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I have been uh, playing Sekiro in the background as well as playing Halo. I you did get platinum three. Sekiro yet? Not yet. So here's the thing with, with platinuming Sekiro. Um, the way the guide has you do it, because you you have to complete two playthroughs of the game because you have to upgrade all your skills. You got to upgrade all of the... There's a lot of upgrades that go into the game to get the platinum trophy for those. And... Uh, so you're doing a new game plus playthrough when you try to attempt what is called the Shura ending, which the long story short of that is there's a much shorter ending you can get in Sekiro by making a very bad decision about halfway-ish through the game. Now, when you make that decision at that point, there's a two-boss gauntlet that you got to fight, and it's brutally hard because you don't have nearly the same amount of health, the same amount of damage. Like, it's, it's tough in new game. I'm doing that in New Game Plus, which is almost the same level of difficulty because I have all of these upgrades. I have all this stuff, but the enemies hit way harder. So I'm currently stuck on that two-boss gauntlet um, before I is can that get it? that is platinum. That it? Then you win? I need to get that platinum, finish out my upgrades through the rest of the game, and like you have to get to like the last area in the game to get these last two upgrade materials. It's a little bit of an arduous platinum, but I really love the game. Uh, and, so, and the, so even though these this two boss gauntlet happens at the midway point of finishing the game, you still like do the second half of the game. So what you do there is you send your save to the cloud, beat oh, it, oh, reboot yeah. your save, and don't make that choice. Uh, Makes sense. So that you can then continue onward and finish out what you need to do. Um, because if you didn't do that, then you'd have to do new game plus two, which would right. be much more difficult to get all the way to that last sequence. But that's been the big thing, disc golf and that uh, playing Sekiro and also Halo. It's great. Go play Halo. It's so good. It's on the Xbox. It's on your PC. It's free to play. It's amazing. Go do it. Bobby. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv, the Red Weenie. I stream Destiny content at least once a week with these two boys and, and a couple other people. Um, and, you know... There's a good chance that, uh, because I also have been playing Halo, that uh, we might be streaming Halo as soon as we're done recording. Uh, because, I don't know, we're probably going to play Halo right after we're done recording. That's why we got. That's why we started recording very quickly once we realized, hey, we're all three here. Let's play some Halo. So we're <laughs> going to be doing that. Um, but besides that, that's pretty much it. I've been doing that. Uh, I'm also part of the same uh, 40K bracket with Corbin. So I've been playing... Uh, I played my first game did pretty well i'm feeling really good about this season i switched factions over to the gray knights because um there's just something about me that likes playing protagonists so like and they are they are while they are not protagonists they are overpowered like mind knights so they they make me feel like they 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 fight for the righteous cause even though (laughs) nobody in 40k is good especially not humans so uh you know there's that um, games workshop even like do a post recently where it's like you shouldn't like these people yeah they're terrible yeah, yeah because they have a lot of nazi fans yeah mm, <laughs> and so that's and so long, they're like please stop short of it yeah they're basically like please stop buying our stuff <laughs> yeah. um but yeah we that's don't that. want your money fuck off <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they they literally said we do not want you at our events we do not want your money uh but Love uh that. which which you know good for you games workshop pay your employees more um uh but uh yeah that's me <laughs> nice uh well hey you can find the podcast anywhere at essential scares uh we're super super active on twitter and uh you know we post on instagram and facebook every now and then too on all of our social medias you can find our link tree which includes links to our discord and our facebook group all of us are very active on discord we talk about horror music video games and warhammer all the time so if you're interested in any of those things, and if you're listening to the show, you're probably interested in at least one of those things, uh, swing into the Discord and uh, so. have a chat. I would hope so. Uh, we do talk about other movies, too. If you <laughs> if you don't like horror, <laughs> we'll talk about whatever. Um, but, you know, 
that is it for us this week. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching if you chose to watch us instead. Um, if you like the show, share it with your friends, share it with your family, give us a thumbs up, a rating, a subscribe, or review, whatever works on your platform of choice. We appreciate it all, truly. Next week, we are going to be watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> Thank you to Alan and Bobby for being on the show with me this week. I have been your host, Corbin, and this has been Essential Scares. Ah, oh, fuck, play that off, oh, fucking fuck, fuck, breakdown, fuck, baby. <laughs> <laughs>